Yes, the recent Norwegian election was marked by a, a fierce debate over the future of the oil industry in your country. Post the election, is it difficult to reassure oil companies in Norway that the future looks bright and that the terms for the industry will remain unchanged? Yes, uh, it was a quite tough uh, battle between uh, the left side and the right side of uh, Norwegian politics. But uh, in, uh, finally, the seated government uh, got re-elected. Uh, and uh, of course, it's important for the oil and gas industry uh, and also the renewable uh, sector. Are you planning any big changes in the four years ahead? Yes, you've highlighted stability and accountability as, as the most important pillars of the Norwegian oil policy. What are you planning in the next four years? No, I think it will be quite stable because uh, the majority in the parliament is the same for uh, parties now as, that, as it has been for the last four years. So uh, for us, it's important to give the oil and gas industry and also the re renewable uh, sector stable and predictable uh, frameworks. Uh, that means uh, developing new uh, renewables, both wind and hydropower, and uh, of course, uh, offer new acreage for the oil and gas industry uh, uh, in the years to come. You said four years ago you'd consider tax incentives for mature fields. That didn't happen. I mean, is it possible that you'd do this in the next four years? Well, these days there are some uh, negotiations between the four parties that uh, um, summarise the, the majority in, in the parliament at the moment. Uh, so it's a bit early to say, but... Uh, what we have heard from the oil and gas industry during the last years has been that uh, it's no need for any big changes. It's uh, important to have stable and uh, predictable framework uh, uh, for the next years. And as we saw uh, uh, in our latest uh, licensing round, we had a record high uh, applications for, uh, for the, uh, the, the licensing round, the APA 2017, in the more mature areas of the, of the Norwegian continental shelf. So will you continue to license awards at the same pace this year? I think that's important. Uh, the industry needs new uh, acreage uh, for, for exploration. Uh, when we passed uh, passes, uh, 2022 and uh, uh, Johan Kostberg development in the Barents Sea up high north, there is no more uh, large oil field, lone standing oil field for development. So we need new acreage, new exploration uh, for the years to come. So it's important for us to, to uh, offer. Uh, uh, a lot of uh, new licenses uh, in you, this uh, licensing rounds. 